Howdy, folks. This is part three of the DAW Audio Master Blaster class series. This is all about using the tools that I presented in parts one and two to pass the audio virtually to an Anon or any other SDR including a conventional rig if you are using an external rack, an analog rack for processing and you're not using the DAW. So if you're using an analog rack, how do you get the audio to the rig without using, let's say, a Heil cable or in the case of an Anon or Sun without using a physical connection to the mic input on the rig? I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we have running, we have a cakewalk pass-through setup and an identical setup. Everything's the same in banana. The only difference is, is that I'm bringing a line out of the rack into a sound card. So instead of the mic being plugged into the sound card, the external rack is plugged into the sound card. Now you can do this a couple different ways usually. You can use a quarter inch mono tip sleeve on each end, plug it into the output of the rack, the last effects rack, uh, the last stage of the rack in the chain, come out of that and into the card. Uh, I use a quarter inch mono and I made up a cable using a 3-pin XLR, which comes into channel 1 on the card. And right now I'm using a cheap little Behringer card. And as you can see in hardware input 1, it's set up exactly the same way. It's just grabbing the audio from the rack and not directly from the microphone. Okay, so everything else is the same. Make sure B1 is on if you're on an Anon. And on uh, voice meter aux here. And over here we have Cakewalk running basically nothing but a pass-through. There's no plugins in here. There's nothing. This just basically creates the connection to the voice meter aux, which will put your transmit audio into the transceiver. Okay, so uh, let me get over to the other screen quick. and show you exactly how to this is for an anon but it's the same for all the other rigs okay so what you want to do is you want to select asio and the vac1 this is for the anon in the case of the sun you just want to select on your inputs and outputs voice meter virtual asio on the anon it's right here at the bottom of the list and once that's done, go ahead and click Enable VAC1. You're going to have to set your buffer latency. And um, if you're running this, uh, if you don't want to run it, you can literally just uncheck it. And latency, latency will increase, but it'll be more stable usually. So let me get my headphones on. And I will get the audio up on the receive side. So this will put your receive audio into banana. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to spin the old, get back over here. Let's get on a frequency, make sure we're hearing. Sunday, they expect the worst weather is going to hit us on Sunday. Tomorrow shouldn't be real bad, but we're going to have some rain anyhow. So we've got Jerry, audio. 73, good to hear from you again. Catch you real soon. And uh, let's see, I've got enough time for one or two more. No, I'm clear with November 2, Zulu Golf November. This is Whiskey 3 Golf, Whiskey Mike. Anybody else for you? Okay, so we have audio coming from the radio uh, into Voice Meter Bio. So there's your monitor. It comes in right here. Your TX audio 
is processed through the voice meter aux, which is connected to Cakewalk. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it into transmit, find a clear frequency. My drive level is at zero. I think this is clear. I don't see anything on the waterfall. And I'm going to mute my microphone itself. And what you'll hear is the audio coming through. The system going through the Anon, hitting the Anon, and coming back out via monitor into Banana. Here we go. Test one, two, test, test. Audio one, two, test one, two. K1 GMM. Testing one, two. Audio one, two, check. Testing. Test one, two, and two. I can't monitor it because there's a little latency there and I'll uh, stumble. I'll start stumbling. So that that's how it's done. Uh, seems to work like a treat. Now stay tuned for part four because I'm going to show you that, that and that will complete the TX side of the equation, the, the TX side part of the series. Uh, part four coming will be an alternative to banana, and I'll show you how to do this, but it does require the purchase of one additional card. It's more stable. It's the way I prefer to do it, although banana has been working a treat for the past three weeks. So I'm just going to stay with this. Seems to work very, very well. Uh, I can tell you that you can run lower latency, almost zero latency. If you set it up on two independent cards, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Seven three.